you are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, then how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trample under people's feet. Hello again, God's beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes. It's the show that's committed to bringing you uplifting and inspirational word to help you through those hard times. No living creature on this earth can live without it, nor can it produce its own as it plays a crucial role in maintaining good health. Salt is a seasoning and a preservative, but if left on the bare earth or exposed to the sun, rain, and air, it loses its flavor and it becomes worthless. A Christian's character must be like that of salt. They must be the one that seasons and preserves all those who they come into contact with. They are to bear the same qualities of Jesus Christ and bring forth the taste for the Word of God. As I mentioned, salt is used to preserve all things that it comes into contact with. It keeps it from going bad and decaying. As a believer, we are to preserve both believers and unbelievers alike in the Word of God. We must be able to touch lives in a positive way. Christians are to help preserve society from spiritual and moral corruption by offering them the gospel. Christ is the Messiah of the divine nature of man, and it's only through salvation will they be able to escape the decay of the world. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its saltness, how can it be restored? In restaurants and even in our homes, people put rice and salt shakers to keep them from clumping together. The grains are known to absorb the moisture and to keep the salt dry because once it becomes wet, it's no longer good and no matter how hard you shake it, nothing comes out. Sin contaminates and causes us to become tasteless and worthless as well, making us no longer good for anything except to be thrown out. Paul said to Christians, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When we make compromises with the world, we become like it and slowly conform to its standards. We become weak and infected, and no matter how hard we try, nothing of flavor comes out. As I mentioned, sin is like water in the salt. It corrupts our lives and ruins the flavor of Christianity, and it makes us useless to God. We remain pure by staying in the Word of God. In the ancient days, salt was a valuable resource, and when it was in its purest form, it was more valuable than money, gold, or silver. People of those days paid their taxes with salt, and many received wages of salt in exchange for a hard day's work. This is where we get the expression that they're worth their weight in salt. But on purpose, a believer is to penetrate and change the very taste of the earth because they're like salt, and the mission is to salt the earth. Salt penetrates and spreads throughout whatever it touches, it inserts a new quality, substance, and life to it. Whatever is put on changes, and believers are to penetrate the world and insert new life into it as well. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Salt flavors, meaning that it influences the taste of things. It makes foods that are bland and tasteless enjoyable. Believers are to influence and flavor the world for Christ, to take the bland, tasteless part of their lives and make it enjoyable for the Word of God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Salt is an essential building block in the chemical industry today, and the raw materials that it has it is used in the production of many things. And even during the winter time, salt helps us to keep our roads safe from icing over. Upon this rock I will build my church, Jesus said to Peter. The word of God is the essential building block in our spiritual lives, and in those moments of loneliness it keeps us from going astray. Knowing the value of salt in biblical times helps us to understand Jesus' word to his followers. We're not part of the world system any longer. We've become distinct from it. Our lives are meant to make an impact for Christ because we're the only ones who can share the gospel that saves souls. Well, that's my time. I pray that you all have a blessed week. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. 
They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Be like the salt of the earth. One love, five minutes.